Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be brought to you by the company Wild Wigs, and today I'm going to be showcasing their Body Wave 6x6 HD Lace Closure Wig. Now, this is what it looks like straight out of the package. So, if you wanted to just go ahead and rock it and put it on, they already pre curled it for you. That is what the front of the hairline looks like. You can kind of see that it's plucked, but I'll show you guys more. And this is the cap construction. So, you get two combs on the side, a comb in the back, your adjustable strap, and you get an elastic band. Even though you can wear this unit straight out of the box, I decided to go ahead and wash mine. I was already washing other wigs this day and I really wanted to see what that texture was going to look like after it was washed. And I was really surprised at how nice and wavy it was. I didn't have any products on it, so I feel like it still looks good after you wash this. So I just made sure to adjust my straps and I am using that elastic band just for some extra security. This is what the sides look like and they are laying down flat and they do meet up by my ear. I didn't feel like it was uncomfortable at all. A little bit of my wax around the front of the hairline and then I'm going to use my hot comb just to kind of brush everything back, make it nice and sleek and make sure it's looking flat also. And then I am going to cut this lace off. Now, as you guys can see, there's a little line. So I'm just following that line, but I'm also making sure to not cut straight across because of course I don't want a boxy look. This is a closure wig. I do feel like you can wear this glueless, but mine was just a little bit too big in that area. So I'm gonna be using my olive oil fix it hole spray, and I'm just gonna spray that on top of the lace. I'm not gonna spray a lot because a lot isn't needed, and I want a really light hole. And then I'm just gonna use my rat tail comb. I like to kind of press the tail down into the lace just to make sure that nothing rolls up. And then I use my blow dryer to speed up the drying process. But with this spray, it doesn't take long to dry down. I'm going with a middle part today and I'm just taking some wax at the top of the parting space area and then I have my hot comb turned up really high because I need this to be really nice and flat. Now the density on this states that it is 180% so there was a good amount of density at the top and of course I don't want no humpy looking wig at all. Mm -mm, I want it flat. I'm pulling some hairs out on the side where the track is by the lace closure because I want to kind of conceal that. And I'm also going to cut that hair down shorter. I'll be using the same spray that I used to melt the lace down to swoop the hairs. Come through the hair to make sure that there were no snags and then I'm going to section everything off and I will be adding some curls to this unit. I'm going to be using my flat iron just because I want a loose curl and I always love the way flat iron curls come out. So with this hair, it did hold a good curl. I did notice some frizzy areas. So in certain sections, you'll see me kind of flat ironing the hair first and then curling it just because of how frizzy it was.
You can see the curls came out really pretty. I curled the rest off of camera, and then I am just going to take my elastic band off so I can focus on this hairline, which honestly, there's not much for me to do. But I do need to put some powder into this parting space. So I'm making sure to add a lighter powder just to kind of help everything blend in. And I noticed behind a little strip of hair that the hairline looked way better. So you're gonna see me kind of pluck out some of that hair because I feel like it opened up the hairline even more. out that hair in the front now i'm just gonna put a little bit of my sleek and shine serum throughout the hair and i'm just gonna break up these curls really making sure to focus on the ends because the ends were dry and also because this product does help to kind of make everything nice and sleek and it helps to take care of frizziness and flyaways then i really want to put a good amount in because like i said i noticed that this hair was really frizzy and i had some flyaways at the top so i'm just putting a little bit of that spray through my comb and I'm running it through the hair. This is what the final look is giving. Now also I did wanna mention that this unit does come with two kind of wig caps. You can get the open wig cap, which is the ventilated cap that I have, which is great for the summertime, letting your scalp breathe, or you can just get the regular closed cap. So it's really up to you. Now this length is 18 inches, so I feel like the length looks really good. But guys, I want you to stay tuned after this so you can hear my final thoughts when it comes to this unit. And this is a six by six closure wig and the texture on this looked really pretty after i washed it um i use my aussie moist shampoo and conditioner and because this is a body wave texture sometimes i do expect like the waves to fall once you wash the unit but this one definitely kept a wavy texture all body wave units are not created equal so just because this one was a bit more wavier doesn't mean that another one from another company will be wavier um i've definitely watched some body wave units that as soon as you washed it it just went straight but i do think that body wave does hold a nice curl which is why i decided to curl this as you can see i opted for a middle part but with the six by six closure you do get a very good amount of space so you can definitely park this to the left or to the right um, even if you wanted to do a flip over, it's still going to give you that frontal look, which is what I love about having a bigger closure. Y'all, it's been a while since I've done this big of a closure. Usually I'll get like a four by four or five by five, but the six by six, yeah, it's definitely looking real good. This unit, I did notice that it had like a little line. So I kind of tried to cut as close to it as possible. The only thing that I will say about the closure is that the knots did not come pre-bleached and they were pretty dark, but because they were so light, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna go in. I'm not gonna worry about bleaching the knots on this one. But I feel like I should have went in and just lightly bleached the knots because like you can see like a cluster up here and it looked darker, which is why I kind of pulled out some of the hairs to kind of help open this up. Now I did have the knots a bit more by putting some powder into the parting space. It seemed to be like a little bit tighter, like right up in here. I didn't want to pluck it out, but the powder definitely helped to open it up. And then I just put a little bit of powder on the side, but I didn't put any powder in this area. It definitely laid down well because this is an HD lace. Um, it's going to be a bit easier for you to blend in. The lace is thin and flexible, so I don't think you're gonna have any issues with that. I notice frizziness and flyaways with this unit. That's why I went in a little bit more heavier with my serum and made sure to focus on the ends. Um, but you can definitely tell because I had to run some of that spray you know, throughout the top just to kind of get everything to lay down. Definitely received some snags in the nape area and towards the ends of the hair before I even curled it. Right now, I'm not receiving any at the ends because of course I tried to straighten them out a little bit, but in the nape area, I am still receiving a little bit of snag. Give me no time to install this unit. Um, the cap is very breathable. It is a little bit big on my head, especially like right in these areas back here but it's not too big to where i feel like you can see it you know when i turn around uh, but this is a great unit if you are a beginner and you really want to still have the frontal look this is one you can just kind of pop on and pop off especially if you get that front of that hairline together i definitely would opt for a six by six closure especially if you want 
that extra versatility. Don't you guys think about this unit? Like I said, it's nice to see a bigger closure because I'm so used to just getting the four by fours and the five by fives. But six by six, I feel like it's still good. Now, anything bigger than six by six, I'm like, okay, you dang near going into a frontal. But this still gives you a lot of options to play with. On this unit, I am gonna make sure to leave a link down below in the description area, guys. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.